Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering Open Plan Book, the integration that promises to integrate Home Assistant with an online plant database and use your soil moisture monitoring devices such as the Ecoit WH51 or Apollo Automation PLT1 so you don't kill any more plants. Sounds simple enough, but as you'll see, it has a few steps. If you already know the section of the tutorial you wish to jump to, then use the chapter markers to jump to the relevant section. Your time is precious, so let's get your trial ready and start digging. First, what is Open Plant Book? Well, fundamentally, it's a repository of knowledge about plants. This database is maintained by the community and gives the user structured information about caring for plants. Now, you can browse the online database but we want to automate this, so we'll be taking advantage of the API to pass information to Home Assistant. This will work in three steps. First, we'll need to pass the name of the plant from Home Assistant to Plant Book. Plant Book will pass Home Assistant via the API the details about the ideal growing conditions for that plant. We'll then compare these against sensor information that we have from the plant. And finally, we'll display the results of the sensor information and the ideal growing conditions on a dashboard. And we'll also create an automation. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, we need a plant book account. Open the plant book website, links in the description. This is a free service, but you will need an account. On the login screen, press sign in in the top right hand corner. Press create account. Enter a username, an email address and a password and confirm with the same password. Agree the terms and conditions and press register. Once registered, enter your username and password and press login. You're now logged in to the open plan book. By all means, have a look around at the various sections, plant information and recommended plant health care. Since we're going to be integrating this with Home Assistant, we need an API key to allow Home Assistant to access the plant database through the integration. Press API key in the left hand menu. Press generate. A client ID and client secret will be generated. Copy these somewhere safe as you will need these later in the process. To be able to integrate Home Assistant with Open Plant Book, we'll be using a hacks integration from a developer called Olin. Link in the description to his GitHub page. Don't forget to show your appreciation for his work. As this is not an official Hacks integration at this stage, the easiest way to install this integration will be to install the custom repositories. Open the GitHub page for the Open Plant integration. Links in the description. Copy the URL from the GitHub page. Now we'll be installing this using Hacks, which is the Home Assistant Community Store. If you don't have this installed, then watch the video in the pop-up above and come back to this video once installed. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Custom Repositories. Paste the URL into the repository field. Use the drop down for type and select Integration and press Add. Now search for Open Plan Book or one word. This will show up. Now select it. Now press Download in the bottom right hand corner and confirm with Download. Refresh the screen to make sure that the download icon disappears, confirming that the installation was successful. Now we have an integration that integrates Home Assistant directly with Open Plant Book. It fetches plant data such as optimal temperatures, humidities and soil moisture levels and allows you to retrieve information based on Open Plant Book's database and use it in Home Assistant. Next we need an integration that enhances the original built-in Home Assistant plant integration extended the standard plant monitoring functionality by adding support for Open Plant Book. So instead of manually entering the plant care thresholds, this version pulls those thresholds directly from Open Plant Book. For this, we'll be using a second integration from Olin called Home Assistant Plant. Now a word of warning, this new and improved version of Home Assistant Plant integration is not compatible with the old built-in version and it will try to do a conversion between the YAML entries into the new UI format. I don't have any plant entries, so this doesn't affect me, but please read the disclaimer, understand the impact before proceeding. Once again, this is not an official hacks integration. As such, open the link in the description. Copy the URL. Navigate to Home Assistant. Select Hacks in the left-hand menu. Press the three dots in the top right-hand corner. Select Custom Repositories. 
paste in the URL into the repository field. Use the type and drop down and select integration. Now press add. Search for Home Assistant Plant and select. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner and confirm by pressing download. Now refresh the screen to confirm that the download button disappears, meaning that the integration has been successfully installed. Now for our last component. We have the information from our plans coming from Open Plan Book, and we are storing our plan data along with the information from Open Plan Book in the Home Assistant, all courtesy of Olin. Our final piece of the puzzle is the ability to display this information on a dashboard. And once again, Olin has us covered. This component is not currently available from the official hack store, so we'll need to do it manually. Open the URL for the flower card, link in the description. Now copy the URL. Navigate to hacks in the left hand menu. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select custom repositories. Paste in the URL you just copied into the repository field. Press the type drop down. Select dashboard. Now press add. Now search for flower card and select. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner and confirm with download. Now press reload. The download option will disappear, signifying a successful installation. Now we've installed all the integrations and Lovelace components. We need to restart to make them all active. Navigate to settings. You'll now see that two restarts are required. One is for the plant monitoring and the other one is for our plant book integration. Select either and press submit, followed by finish. Home Assistant will now restart. First, let's start by configuring the Open Plan Book integration. Open Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Select Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Open Plan Book. Now we get to use the client ID and the secret that we copied from the Open Plan Book registration and when we generated the API key. Paste the client ID and the secret into the respective places and press submit. Here you can set your upload data to open plan book. For me, I'll be leaving this unticked. Press submit. There is a small amount of optional configuration available. Press configure. The first three are the previous configuration options. However, now we have an option for automatically downloading plant images. These will be saved to an image path. This must exist and is not created automatically. To create this, I'll be using Studio Code Server. If you don't have Studio Code Server, then use the link in the pop-up above and come back once installed. Make a note of the path. Open another tab and open Home Assistant. Navigate to Studio Code Server in the left-hand menu. Use the folder structure on the left-hand side to navigate to config slash www slash images. Right-click on the images folder. Select new folder. Enter plants and press enter. Switch back to the previous tab. Select automatically download plant images. Now press submit, followed by finish. If you already have plants loaded through the internal plant integration, then these will be converted. Since I don't have any loaded, I'm gonna to have to load these from scratch. First, we need to find out the name of our plant. This is not as simple as it sounds. Here I would recommend using the power of AI image recognition. On your mobile phone, Open Google. Press the camera icon in the search. This will activate Google Lens. Here we can use the power of AI to analyze the image and identify what we're looking at. Point at the plant that you want to identify. Take a picture and let it come back with the results. You are looking for a Latin name or at least a name that I found very difficult to pronounce. Copy this name. Open Plant Book. Press Browse DB in the left hand menu. Paste the name of your plant into the Name Contains field and press Search. Hopefully the name of your plant will be brought back. Press the Details button. You should now see all the information that is held about your plant on the Plan Book database. Copy the plant ID as we'll need this in Home Assistant later. Open Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Plant Monitor. Give your plant a friendly name. In the Species field, paste the plant ID. Now use the drop down to allocate the sensors based on your plant. On the channel, we reviewed several plant monitor sensors from the PLT1 and PLT1B from Apollo Automations, links in the descriptions, to the excellent outdoor soil moisture sensor from EcoWit, the WH51, which I currently have installed. 
Interestingly, when I try and select this from the drop down for the soil moisture, it fails to appear, which gives us a good excuse to demonstrate how to manually set it. Confirm the species and press submit. The picture stored on the open plant book and the details associated will be brought back. Confirm that this is your plant, adjust the plant specifics if required and press submit. Option give it an area and press finish. Now to set sensors manually, navigate to developer tools, select actions in the top menu. In actions type plant monitor colon replace sensors and press select. In meter entity search for the entity you wish to replace. In my case kitchen cactus soil moisture. Tick sensor entity. In the corresponding entity field search for your soil moisture entity and select. Now press perform action in the bottom right hand corner. A tick will appear, confirming that the action has been successfully carried out. Switching back to the integration, you can now see that the soil moisture correctly appears and that I have populated all fields that are available for the plant. Now we are all set to display our beloved cactus plant on a dashboard. Navigate to an appropriate dashboard. Press the pencil icon in the top right hand corner. Select add new card. Search for flower card. If you have already defined a plant, this will show up as the default. But don't worry, you can change this. Select if you would like a card to be a full or compact. I'll be using full. Now use the drop down to select your plant. Select the battery sensor for your plant sensor. Select the sensors you wish to populate for your plant. In my case, I have sensors connected for moisture, temperature, illumination and humidity. So I'll untick conductivity and daily light integral. Press save and press done. This card correctly shows a picture of our plant, the friendly name for our plant, the Latin name for our plant, the battery status for the sensor for our plant, plus all of the different sensors for soil moisture, illumination, humidity and temperature. The card will show green bars when the values are within the thresholds defined by the open plant book and measured by the sensor. These will turn red if they go outside of the thresholds. Now this video is already getting way too long, but let's quickly create an automation that sends a notification to my study speaker when the soil moisture is low. You can then extend this automation to include whatever options you wish. Navigate to settings, automations and scenes. Press the create automation button in the bottom right hand corner. Select create new automation. Press add trigger. Select entity. Select state. In the entity field, search for your plant and select. Use the drop down in the attribute field. Select moisture status. In the to field, type low. In the for field, enter one minute, which is the second column. This will trigger when the cactus soil moisture drops below the threshold specified by the open plant book database for more than one minute. Next, let's send a notification to my study speaker. Scroll down to the to section. Press add action. Search for a notification that sends a message to your speaker. In the message field, type an appropriate message. In my case, the kitchen cactus needs watering. Press save. Give it an appropriate name and optionally set a description, an area, a category and some labels and press save. Now let's test it out. I'll take the sensor out of the soil. The response times on this device are surprisingly quick considering the technology. So within 90 seconds, the automation is triggered. The kitchen cactus needs watering. Now this was the simplest automation I could think of, but the concepts of which entities to interrogate equally apply for one sensor as they do for 50. So scale this accordingly to meet your needs. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you'd like to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if you want to join other like-minded people, then why not join the Discord channel where smart home enthusiasts meet to solve each other's problems. And if I helped you save plants, I know I did, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.